Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to make the edit product in our PHP project. So let's get started with it. So in our products.php, we have displayed all the products data. So over here you have all products and we have it over here. So when I click on this edit, we have given this edit product.php and the ID in the A tag, right? So I'll just show you over here we have given the edit button and in the a tag we have given edit product.php and we have passed the id with that in the url so we will start with creating this file now so inside your admin folder just say new file edit product.php and in this go to your add product.php file copy the same thing and then paste it in your edit product.php so over here, we'll just change the card header to edit product. Okay. And all these things are going to be the same. Like we will have this along with this, we will have the value of that field in the text box. So first I will just change the button name. Say update product button. And the text we are going to change it to update. Okay. And then over here, Inside this column md12, I'm going to write a open PHP, close PHP, and over here we are going to call the get by id function. Okay, so we had created that in our functions my functions dot php. You have the code over here get by id. So if you pass the table name and the id, so you will get the query from your database. So we'll just copy this function name and paste it over here. Dollar product is equal to get by id and over here i'm going to pass the products table say products and then the id over here so for the id we are going to fetch it from the url copy and paste dollar id is equal to dollar underscore get of id okay so this is nothing but your query parameter so whatever is there in your url right that thing you have to specify over here. So first we will check if this is there in the URL or not. Okay. Say if. Okay. So I'll just zoom in. So if is set of dollar underscore get of ID. So if the ID is present in our URL, only then we are going to proceed further. So all this is going to be in the if part. Okay. And over here, I'm going to open PHP, close PHP. And here we'll have an else part, say else echo ID missing from URL. Okay, so we'll just align these things. And we need a closing bracket for the if. Okay, and here is the else for that if. Okay, so this will be inside the PHP tag. Yeah. So if the ID is there in the URL, then we are going to fetch that ID and then we are going to fetch the record of that ID. So after getting the record, we are going to check if my SQLI num rows of this dollar product is greater than zero okay then we are going to print this thing so i'll just copy control x and paste it over here and in the else part i'll just copy it from here else here product not found for given id okay so if the id is wrong so it is not found in our products table then we are going to display this message so if the id is found in our products table then we are just going to fetch that over here say dollar data is equal to my sqli fetch array 
and pass the dollar product in this function okay so now we have got the record in this dollar data so we will just print that in all the text boxes so here we are just printing all the categories right so whichever category is selected for this product by default that has to be selected over here so in this option tag i'm just going to write a php print and then we are just going to write a ternary operator over here say so if dollar data of category underscore id is equal to this dollar item of id paste and question mark then we are just going to print selected else we are just going to leave it null so where is that selected so here paste okay so we'll just check this output now go to your browser go back and refresh so this redmi note 7 pro i'll just click on edit and you can see the default mobiles has been selected over here so let us check it for this t-shirt edit and you can see the selected categories fashion by default so you can just update that whatever you want so this default thing is getting selected properly so the other things we are just going to echo it so here you have the input box for the name slug and all so we are going to specify the value and say okay and we are going to print the dollar data of name similarly just copy this thing and paste it for the slug and all other fields so you will have the value printed in that and for this text area you have to give it between the opening and closing tag I'll just show you copy and paste and give the field name over here copy and paste okay so for all other fields you just do that thing so we have given the value for all the fields so for the image we will just print the existing image say current image and over here i'm going to give an img tag so over here i'm going to call the path that is the uploads folder and the file name okay so just copy this thing and paste it over here say image and this alt tag you can just say product image and here we are going to add the height and width height equal to 50 px and same thing for the width just paste it over here width is equal to 50 px so we'll just see the form now go and refresh so i'll just edit this I edit so over here all our data is been filled and can just change the price and the status or the trending status and then click on update to update this data so now we'll write the code to update this so we'll go back to our code and over here you can see we have submitted this form to code.php so i'll just copy the button name update product button and go to code.php and over here you have say else if a set of dollar underscore post of update product button so why we are putting all this in an if else condition is if somebody tries to access this code.php without any of these conditions we will just redirect them back to the home page okay say header function say location and index dot php yeah so when the user clicks on this update product button we are going to fetch all the values from this input boxes so we have that thing in our add product button so i'll just copy it from here copy and paste it over here okay so we have taken all this over here we are going to check for the file thing if we have a new file or not so in your edit product over here where you have the image right 
can just give an input type equal to hidden and give the name as old image okay and say value is equal to this image copy and paste okay so this is when the user is not updating the image so we are just going to fetch the old image name and then update that thing so we have to check if the user has uploaded any file or not while submitting this update product so in your update category button we have the code over here so i'll just take it from here copy and just paste it over here okay so i have it over here yeah so all these things are normal fields we have just fetched it over here and here we are just fetching the file name and this is the old image name so it's over here which we just gave right input type equal to hidden name equal to old image so this value is just fetching it over here and storing it in the dollar old image so here i'm checking if the new image is not equal to null then we are renaming the new file name okay else we are just giving the old file name itself in the update file name variable so now we are going to write the query to update the database say dollar update product query is equal to update products set and your field names are here say name is equal to within single quotes paste your variable name comma and then we have the slug over here slug is equal to your variable name dollar slug similarly just give all the field names so here i have mentioned all the field names and then we are just going to say where id is equal to within single quotes give your dollar product id okay so just copy this variable and over here i'll just paste it dollar product id is equal to dollar underscore post of product id just copy this and go to your edit product and over here you can just give it somewhere over here so input type equal to hidden name is equal to product id and value is equal to just print the id of that product okay so for this image right so you have to give the update file name variable so we have given it over here right so if it is a new image then we are concatenating the time with the extension and storing that new name else the old name itself we are just storing it over there so now we are just going to write the mysql like query function say update product query run variable is equal to mysqli query function and pass your dollar con comma dollar product query yeah update product query so over here i'm going to say if if this query is run successfully then we are going to move the new file okay so we'll just check so over here we are going to check if the new file is uploaded then we have to move that in our folder and delete the old image and else we are just going to redirect the user back with the error message so you can just copy it from here copy and paste it over here change this variable name okay so if the new file is there then we are just going to add that in our uploads folder that is in this dollar path you can see over here and we are just going to check if the file exists with that old image name then we are going to delete it and then redirect the user back to edit product with the id of dollar product id and say product updated successfully
okay and over here just change the file name and say something went wrong if this query has something wrong with it okay so now let us just test our code go refresh and I'm going to say as 9 and the quantity I'm just going to make it to 55 click on update okay so this required thing we have to remove it so while editing the product it's not mandatory to update the image right so you don't have to get this required over here and refresh just update the price and the quantity on update product updated successfully so I've got it 55 and 9 over here so let me just set this to trending click on update so over here we have something let's just check so it is actually updated in our database but we have not written the code to display it as checked okay so we'll just do that now so over here you have the status and trending right so just open php and close and we are just going to check copy this and paste if it is equal to zero Okay, so this value is not required for the checkbox. I'll just remove it. Yeah, so if this status is equal to zero, that means it is visible, right? So we are not going to check that. Else, if it is one, then we are going to echo checked over here. Okay, so similarly, you just copy and paste, copy and paste. in the field name okay so if the trending is set to 1 then we are going to show it as checked else if it is set to 0 then we are leaving it null okay so refresh and just check so you can see trending is updated so I'll just update the status and remove from the trending click on update and it is updated or here so let me just change the image so I'll just put this TV for this open and click on update product updated you can see it over here so I'll just put it back update okay so we'll go to our all products and now you can see the image is there and status is hidden so I'll just make it to visible okay so we'll add a back button to the edit file over here like we have it in our edit category we have this right so when you click back you go to the category page similarly for this edit product we'll just paste that over here go to your edit category and just copy this thing copy and paste it over here paste and change this href to products.php refresh yes so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to edit and update the product data in our php project so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you